live there. You catch me off guard on my travels amongst the North African deserts. But what I'm doing here? Come closer, look. Among these dunes, you can still see the signs of Team 17 and Talent Loose. Update 14 didn't work out so well. People found Drill alright, but with LL Main, oh, I... Which, to be fair, is sad, because we had high hopes for this desert map and the overall North African setting in general. And what a fun setting it is. The British gang down the Africa Corps, lovable Anzac troops joining the battle with the iconic own gun. Wow. Ah, Africa. Something, to be fair, we have done a few times prior. But you know, it's, it's a great setting. It's still better than seeing Normandy for the thousandth time. Now, would I like to see some other theaters of war? Sure. Like Operation Mercury in Greece, or Operation Husky in Sicily, you know. El Alamein. Ah, what about it? People weren't that happy about its initial release, but I'm sure that with a good trailer that they have hyped up, uh, and the next patch that everybody is just gonna remain calm for now, and then when we- Wait, what is that? Oh, it's the players! And they hate it! Oh, they hate it so much! What the fuck is this piece of shit? So, how did this come to happen? Why do people hate this one but don't mind the real? And what is it about the removed content deep under the dunes of Ella Lemain? Well, stay tuned, we're gonna find out now. Okay, so what is Ella Lemain? I mean, if we're gonna talk about the map, let's have at least some knowledge of it. Huh? The literal translation from the Arabian is the two flags. Now see, that's promising, isn't it? Two flags, two teams, two dev studios that worked on this map. That's already a good start. Because again, this map's out of under black matter, and then got the polish by Team 17. All right, so much about Ella Main's background. Now I myself had some fun matches on the map, mostly on the hills and in the urban areas, but overall trying to cross the open valleys is quite awful on the public servers. I mean, you can't really force communication on a public server. Eh? It becomes a bit of a spawn, die, repeat situation. Eh? And even those fancy rock formations don't help. You know, the ones that seem to be a copy and paste of the same rock formation each time over and over over the whole map, filling up to like 90% of all the rocks just in different heights yeah that is still an odd one but maybe maybe it's just me you know maybe it's only me who has a certain problem with ll main so what do you do if you are uncertain if you are the problem or not you ask the most vocal and knowledgeable group of people that you can get your hands on it's called the internet and it's a fresh new way to check out sites buy clothing and surf music and it's all located on this tiny cd rom and since i was able to buy a cd of the internet i was able to send out a form to the headed loose communities i didn't have my hopes up really for this to get many answers or most answers just being troll reactions now. but oh boy a lot of you guys actually answered like many answered it took me quite a while to read through all of these responses some of them are quite long and what did i find out about ll main and the community well it seems there's two major issues that make ll main unbearable first the weak british faction you don't want to be like this this is disgusting now this is one not directly against the map, but it is a big point for all of you out there. The British make you feel like you didn't put enough points into research in other games. The weapons aren't centered, the scopes hide most of the screen, and the weapon sway infuriates everybody. Now, the other even bigger issue that people have, and which is a bit more focused about the actual map, the lack of cover. People hate the amount of repeating deaths you get in the valley with mostly axes, machine gunners and tankers uh, mowing you down the very moment you enter an open space, snipers are camping among the hills behind you in front of you, and even if you have tanks that shield you from fire, only two to three people can stay in the cover of the tank before it gets shot by stronger and better positioned axis tanks. Now, for this problem at least, there are three big ideas that you guys kept mentioning on how to fix it. The first one is cover. They could plonk down some destroyed wrecks, sandbags, craters in the valley, all sorts of things that will give you some level of hiding from that instant death on the hills. We have tons of it on the hills, but not in the valley for some odd reason. You cannot proceed without being seen. A rework of the map as in new paths. Extra paths would be hard to do, I have to say, people. Uh, you think they should add some new pathing way or different paths that people could take? Now, extra paths will be hard to do unless you give them some sort of, I don't know, unseen movement. If there was just some way of... Wait, what is that?
is this? Oh, right, tunnels. Yes. Originally, there were tunnels planned for LLM. You can still see it in the old notes from Black Matter. Tunnels, what a great idea. Connecting areas of the battlefield without you being seen. So you don't have to keep running to your death against MGs and snipers out in the open. And imagine all the firefights you can have down here. We don't really have that sort of long tunnel fighting. We should have had that with the Rehmagen train channel already. Which would have opened up new flanks and new tactics that you can go. But we didn't. We didn't get that in any way. And now we again don't get a cool tunnel fight. So why not Team 17? Why couldn't we get some nice fights in a huge underground tunnel system? Well, I have an idea. Probably because it took too much performance. I mean, the map already struggles performance-wise, like a lot of the headed loose maps. And with a whole underground tunnel system that connects big areas of the map? Yeah, that is performance heavy. Now, another reason could be that they don't want to divert too far from the actual history of this battle. And let's be fair, they didn't have giant metal tunnels under the sand back then. I'm always more for maps that are playable and you can have fun on, but the historians will probably disagree on this one. No tunnels in the desert, so therefore no tunnels in the desert in the game. So yeah, that's fine, that's fine. There's one last point that people mention, that is the reduction of visibility with either a weather or night system. Which, to be fair, is a quite interesting approach. Lowering the overall visibility by making it a night map, with the watchtowers and floodlights even illuminating hard programmed spots in the world, the noise of flak fire in the background, sirens going off once in a while, planes going down on the horizon. That could actually be really, really nice. Well, we will see. But now for the weather idea. Back in the day, I mentioned this on the Garrison podcast. If you want to save LLMA and stop the openness, you will need to add a sandstorm. Not all the time, mind you, because then people might just get annoyed with it if it's all the time. But a multi-layered world of sand that comes in and partially hides and shows enemies, with them appearing and again getting swallowed up by the sandstorm, that could be really unique and interesting. And I think I know which of these the devs are going to go for, because you can see something that resembles sandstorm, in the background of one of their videos. Now, mind you, it looks good just in regards to blocking vision. Uh, maybe less gray and a bit more distinct in its sandy layers, you know, not just this. But I don't mind the idea of getting a sandstorm. And now for something completely different. And at the end, to be fair, some people in the community also wanted this one out. Elder Domain is a map where you need to change your way of thinking the most. What? Well, it's a map, a lot like Foy, where you need to work with all your forces together. You can't just proceed on your own. You need to actually adapt to the battlefield and interact with everybody else on this team of yours. My problem with that is that it is a very hard thing to coordinate on a public server. Not all squads are listening, some ignoring orders, some without squad leaders, people not caring about defending, just not talking, you know how it is. I think one of the big issues is that you do need a higher level of communicating and planning with other people on this map. And that's not working that well in a public game. Now, mind you, I do commentary for a lot of tournaments and matches and things. And the competitive scene is also not a big fan of LLMA. Even with all the planning and being focused on achieving the goal and uh, having all the teamwork together. So, if a team of 50 friends can't do it... Is a public server able to make it work? Not always, often it's just luck. Either way, from what we have gathered today, LLMA needs three things. First, an improvement of the British. Second, an improvement in regards to performance. And third, a way for soldiers to make their way through the valleys. Either that, or you'd need to somehow teach your player base how to adapt to this map. And I don't think that one is gonna work out, with the community having so many different viewpoints, uh, uh, realism, casual, meta changes. Don't get me wrong, it's a lovely community, but we aren't very united in our wishes for what we want out of Headed Loose. And until that changes, we're always gonna send out mixed signals to Team 17. And I think in the long run, that might doom the actual game. Yeah. And with that, we leave this place. The sands will soon cover the shame. And hopefully, when we come back one day, there won't be anything left that reminds us of this situation. And when we return, we might see some tunnels, or cover, or a night version, or probably a sandstorm option for the map, something like that. 
Or maybe, just maybe, the British faction is going to be stronger and more enjoyable. Now with the latest PD, it seems like they are really trying to get this ship back on course. I should also hopefully have a lazy video of that PD up somewhere here now soon. Uh, we will see. Oh well, thanks for staying till the end. If you made it till here, then thanks for hanging out with me. Hope you have a great day. Hope this video helped you a bit as in hearing what the community wants. And maybe see you another day. Bye-bye.